Hi guys, today we will discuss about the Hoffman coding algorithm. Myself Kamal Khan Sharma, working as assistant professor in the Department of Information Technology, KIT Dupov Institution. So, today's topics are uh, what is Hoffman coding, then we will discuss about the observation for Hoffman coding and we will discuss as an example for Hoffman coding. So, first of all, we will discuss what is Hoffman coding. So, basically, uh, this Hoffman coding was developed by the government uh, David Hoffman and the codes is generated using this technique are called the line codes. So whatever we uh, derive all the code words, these code words basically called as Hoffman codes and uh, Hoffman codes and these codes are basically prefix codes and they are optimum for a given model and they are optimum for a given model. Now come to the observation part. So in observation part in an optimum codes, the symbols that uh, occurs more frequently will have the shorter code words and the two symbols that occurs least frequently will have the same length. So we can say that uh, the first observation is correct uh, and if uh, this observation is correct, if the symbols that occur more than uh, more often have uh, code words that were longer than the code words for a symbols that occur less often and the average number of uh, bits per symbol would be larger then if the conditions were reversed. So therefore we can say that a code word that assigns long, uh, longer code word to a symbol that occur more frequently cannot be the optimum. So uh, now come to the next slide, designing part. So here we have to design a Hoffman code. So let us take an example. In this example we have to design a Hoffman code for a source A. Here we have a source A or uh, we can say that the source having the alphabet A okay and this alphabet A have some certain letter or you may call as symbols uh, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. So this source uh, uh, that puts out a letter from alphabet A this uh, alphabet A have uh, five symbols A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 and these safe symbols have certain probability and the probability is already given that uh, uh, probability of A1 and A3 is 0.2. So A1 and A3 is 0.2. And the probability of uh, A2 is 0.4. And the probability of uh, uh, symbol A4 and A5 is uh, 0.1. This is symbol A4. And the entropy is already given in the question. The entropy of this source is 2.122 bits per symbol. Okay, now we, uh, what we have to do, we have to design a Hoffman code for this particular question. So in this question, we have a source alphabet A and uh, this alphabet has uh, five symbols and all these five symbols have probability already given in the questions. Now we have to uh, design the Hoffman code. So one thing we should keep in mind, some notation. The notation is CAI means the code word for AI. Means whatever we have a, a code word of a particular symbol, Initially, we assign by this notation CAI. CAI means code word for AI. Now, what we have to do? Suppose we have a question uh, in the alphabet A and uh, source are A1, A2. Uh, maintain a table and uh, make sure this table is uh, uh, based upon their uh, probabilities and the probabilities uh, will be assigned as per their decreasing order. Okay. So, letter A having the higher probability. So uh, we just put in the first row and the letter A1 having the probability 0.2 then this uh, uh, letter A, A1 is assigned in second row then after that A3 has a probability 0.2 then uh, letter A4 is 0.1 and letter A5 is 0.1 so arrange these all letters A1, A2, A3, A5 in as per their deciding order of the probability values ok so A2, A1, A3, A4, A5 is assigned as per their probability in decreasing order so maintain this uh, uh, table in decreasing order, decreasing order, okay. Now come to the third column, third column is code word. Basically these code words are the Hoffman codes, which we have to find out, Hoffman codes, okay. So we have to find these code words and these code words are in the form of 0 and 1, okay. So initially we have a, a table having the five letters A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 with their probability and the code words are so code words as far as the code word is considered in initially the letter A2 having the code word CA2 okay the letter is CA2 and the letter A1 
is assigned as code word as uh, uh, C of A1, A3 assigned as code word of A3, means C A3, A4 is assigned as code word of A4, and A5 is assigned as the code word C A5. So basically, this is a uh, five-letter alphabet. As already given in the question, we have a five letters or five symbols A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So initially, we arrange this. Uh, uh symbols in descending order okay now come to the next step. so what we have to do if we consider uh, the table the last symbol uh, the last two symbols a4 and a5 if we see the last row a4 or a5 these a4 and a5 symbols have the lower probability so first we have to assign the code words of a4 and a5 so we can assign their code word as code word of a4 and the code word of a5 as alpha 1 into 0 and alpha 1 into 1. Basically, alpha 1 is a binary string. So here, alpha is binary string. Okay, alpha is binary string. And uh, this multiply means, uh, this uh, strip means concatenation. So initially, the uh, symbol A4 and A5 having their lower uh, low probability. So initially, we assign these A4, A5 code words uh, and the code words are represented by uh, CA4 equals to alpha 1 concatenate 0 and CA5 uh, equals alpha 1 into concatenate 1. So we can assign as equation number 1 and equation number 2. Okay, now what will happen? Now we have to design a new alphabet. Initially we have an alphabet A having the uh, symbols A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. Okay, now we have to design a new alphabet A dash. Okay, now in this alphabet A dash, we have new symbols like A1, sorry, A2, A1, A3, and A4 dash. Okay, basically A4 dash is A4 dash is the combination of this A4 and A5. Last two rows, A4 and A5. This is the combination of A4 and A5. I'm talking about a4 dash okay and the probability of a4 dash will be the probability summation of probability of a4 and the probability of a5 so the probability of a4 is 0.1 and the probability of a5 is 0.1 so finally the probability of uh, a4 dash means probability of a4 dash will be 0.2 okay now what we have to do we have arrange, we have to uh, make a new table and arrange all the letters as per the alphabet a dash in descending order Okay, now we have to make a new table and arrange all the letters in descending order. In descending order. Now, here we have a new alphabet A dash. Okay, and alphabet A dash has symbols A2, A1, A2, sorry, A2, A1, A3, and A4 dash. And make all arrangement as per their descending order. So the letter A2, A1, A3, and A4 dash. Now, we have to keep in mind, uh, we have to keep one thing in mind that the uh, probability of A4 dash is 0.2. So, A4 dash letter should be placed in such a manner that this lie in uh, this lie below the uh, A3 because the letter A3 having the probability 0.2 and as well as the probability of A4 dash is, all, is also 0.2. So, putting A4 dash below the A3, we have a new table and this table have uh, four letters as I already mentioned A2, A1, A3, A4 dash. Okay, so A2, A1, A3 the probabilities are remaining same as we have given in the questions and the probability of A4 dash is 0.2. Okay, now the code words of A2, A1, A3 will be the same as C of A2, C of A1 and C of A3. And as far as the A4 dash is concerned the code word of uh, A4 dash will be alpha 1. So we have to Confirm that the code word of A4 dash will be alpha 1. Okay. Now come to the next part. Now here, if we compare the last two rows and the last two rows having the symbol A3 and A4 dash. Here A3 and A4 dash are the two letters at the bottom and these two letters have the lowest probability as I have already mentioned in the table. So again, we assign the code words for A3 and A4 dash. Now we assign the code word for A3 and A4 dash. So the code word of A3 dash will be alpha 2 concatenate 0 and similarly the code word of uh, a4 dash will be alpha 2 concatenate 1 
Now make this uh, equation as equation number three, add as well as equation number four. But if we consider about, uh, if we see the previous uh, table, we have the code word alpha. Uh, we have the code word a four dash equals to alpha one as per the previous table. As per the previous table, we can see that the code word of a four dash is alpha one. So therefore, uh, the alpha one equals to alpha two into one. Why? Because in Previous table, the code word of a4 dash is alpha 1, and here we assign the new code word for uh, a4 dash is alpha 2 into 1 or alpha 2 concatenate 1. So we have a new equation alpha 1 equals to alpha 2 concatenate 1. Okay. Now when we get the value of alpha 1 equals to alpha 2 concatenate 1, similarly we get uh, new values for uh, code word of a4 and code word of a5. So the code word of a4 will be Alpha two concatenate one zero, and as well as the code word of A five will be alpha two concatenate one one. So these the two questions is is derived from the equation number one and equation number two. By putting the value of alpha one, uh, that is alpha two into one or alpha two concatenate one in equation number one and equation number two. Just putting the value of alpha one in equation number one and equation number two, we get the new code word of alpha four and alpha five. That is Uh, alpha 2 concatenate 10 and alpha 2 concatenate 11 okay so we can assign these two equation as equation number 6 and equation number 7 now at this stage we have letter a1 a2 a3 dash okay now we have a new here now we have a new alphabet a double dash having the three letters a1 a2 and a3 dash okay and where a3 dash is the combination of or we can say that a3 dash is composed of a3 and a4 dash okay so here the probability of a3 dash will be 0.4 by uh, adding the probability of a3 and as well as the probability of a4 dash we will get the probability of a3 dash that is 0.4 okay so at this stage we have three letters a1 a2 a3 dash and uh, the probability of a3 dash will be uh, And the probability of a3 dash will be uh, 0.4. Now come to the next slide. Now here we have uh, we uh, design a new table, and this table having the uh, three letters a2, a3 dash, and a1. Okay, and the a2 having the probability 0.4 as already given in the question. a3 dash is 0.4, and a1 is 0.2. Now make sure the probability of a3 dash should be uh, placed in such a manner in the table so that the a3 dash probability will be 0.4, but below the A2 means below the uh, below the first row. Okay, now arrange uh, these letters in descending order. So here we have a reduced three-letter alphabet. Now come to the next part. Now in this table we have last two letters is A3 dash and A1, and these A3 dash and A1 having the probability 0.4 and 0.2. Okay, now A3 dash and A1 the uh, probabilities are 0.4 and 0.2. And these probabilities are low probability as per the given table. Okay, now assign again assign the code word for A3 dash as well as code word for A1. So here we assign the code words. So uh, code word for A3 dash will be alpha 3 concatenate 0, as well as the code word of A1 will be alpha 3 concatenate 1. Okay, but uh, the code word of A3 dash equals to alpha 2. Alpha 2. As we assign the code word of A3 Dash equals to alpha two in previous table. So by putting the value of the code word of a three dash equals to alpha two in this equation, we get a new equation that is alpha two equals to alpha three concatenate zero. Okay. So this is our tenth equation. Now by putting the value of alpha two in previous equation, we will get the some code words, and the code words are the code word of a three will be alpha three concatenate zero zero, and the code word of a four is Uh, alpha 3 concatenate 010 and the code word of a5 will be alpha 3 concatenate 011 and these questions are derived from the equations number 3 6 and 7 as we have already done in previous slides so by putting these equation as equation number 11 12 13 now come to the next part we again design a new table and this table having only two probabilities a3 double dash and a2 okay So the probability of a3 dash will be the combination of uh, pro, uh, combination of a3 dash and a1. So the probability of a3 da double dash will be the probability uh, sum of probability of a3 dash and a1. Okay. 
so the, we get the probability of a 3 double dash is 0.6 now sort this table as per their probability now we get only two letters in the alphabet and the letters are a3 double dash and a2 having the probability 0.6 and 0.4 and the code word of a3 double dash is assigned alpha 3 as already mentioned and the code word of a2 is code word of a2 now in this table we have only two letters okay in this table we have only two letters so we can assign the code words straight forward or we can say that the, when the table having only two letters okay when the table have only two letters we can assign directly their code words so here we, uh, we have letter a3 double dash and a2 so we can easily assign the code word a3 double dash as a 0 and a2 as 1 okay when we have a table uh, when uh, when a table having two uh, letters we just uh, directly putting their uh, code words uh, like 0 and 1 so here we have two letters a3 double dash and a2 the probability are 0.6 and 0.4 respectively so here we can directly assign their code words that is 0 and 1 but actually the code word of a double a3 double dash is alpha 3 as we compare to the table this implies alpha 3 is 0 as we assign the code word of a double uh, code word of a3 double dash equals to 0 this implies and uh, the code word already mentioned here is alpha 3 for a3 double dash and the code word of a3 double dash equals to alpha this implies alpha 3 this implies alpha 3 equals to 0 ok so by putting this uh, value of alpha 3 equals to 0 in other equations we get the code word of a1 equals to alpha 3 concatenate 1 as per the uh, equation number 9 this implies the code word of finally the code word of a1 will be 0 1 and the code word of a3 will be triple zero by assigning the value of alpha 3 as 0 so we have the code word of a3 triple zero and similarly we get the code word of a4 as well as the code word of a5 the code word of a4 will be 0 0 1 0 by putting the value of 0 in place of alpha 3 and similarly by putting the value of alpha 3 as 0 we get the code word of a5 as 0 0 1 1 so by uh, solving all the equations we get all the code words uh, related to a particular alphabet and in this question we have a symbol a okay we have a symbol uh, alphabet a having the symbols a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 and by solving all the process uh, and by solving this process we get all the code words related to a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 okay. now finally we have these letters a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 as per the given question and in this question we have already uh, probabilities are given by solving this we get all the code words uh, related to the uh, related to the uh, letters given in the question so these are the code words the letter for a2 the code word is 1 and the letter a1 having the code word 0 1 a3 code word triple 0 a4 the code words are 0 0 1 0 and the letter a5 the code words are 0 0 1 1 so whatever we have a uh, symbols given in a uh, question if we have a uh, symbols uh, uh, like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 or a6 means uh, a4 sorry a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 or a1 a2 up to a7 all the letters we, uh, we can easily find out the code words as per the given probability okay now thank you very much